I have the tender in its fairly completed final form. Um, it has um, sensors in a P1 and P2 position. P1 is on the right side, P2 is on the left side, and they're down in between all the transistors, which create the heat. Um, the engine's been running, oh, about, I don't know, 30 minutes or more. And um, I've done some tests at 50% in forward and reverse and 100% forward and reverse. And the hottest temperature we got was 44 and uh, 41.5. And we're sitting right now at 43 and 38. We're at 50% in forward, just kind of like a cool down, I guess. But it seems that the system, the tender in the back is uh, what I call heat soak. That is, it's, it's absorbed all the heat it can, and now it's at a, like an equilibrium, you might say. The lid is just slightly warm, just barely warm. You can feel a little tiny bit of heat on the sides. It's actually cool here and just medium cool here. It's not hot by any stretch. Uh, nothing is hot anywhere on this engine after 30 minutes of uh, a mix of 50% uh, and 100%. So I did nothing different in any way other than the big fan, which is a 30 by 30 by 7 blowing air down, sucking it out and blowing it down. And I left off all the large or the small heat sinks left them off because there's not enough room and it really uh, would affect airflow. So I'm guessing what I'm doing now with the fan is the main event. Now we just dropped the 41 and 39. So it's sort of cooling down, you might say. I suppose if I slow it down, it would cool down even slower or lower, supposedly. I don't know, sometimes when they run slow, they cre create more heat. We'll see. I got it down to 30% or 30 miles an hour. This this transformer reads 100 is 100, so we'll see. But um, on the whole, the fan is the trick. And um, I really worked that little adapter out. I got it nice and tidy where it can fit in snug. The sides bulge a little bit, but I think some of that's memory. I don't think that's real. And um, I'm not going to fuss with it right now. Um, I'm going to send this as it is because I think it's quite good. And um, now we're seeing the temperatures 41 and 40, which is odd. But we're in forward. 41 and 40. It, yeah, that's about where it was. Fits so, uh, at... Uh, after five minutes, it was 41 and 40, and we're at 41 and 40 after about five minutes at 50. So we're back to where we were. So there seems to be some equilibrium at certain speeds and what you can achieve. But if I if I do this, I change this over from Fahrenheit. It's 106. Uh, you could almost put your hand on 106. And I'm not sure if you could or not, but it, it's not that hot, okay? Especially... Of digital stuff is not that hot. So I'm going to turn this off. Turn this off. Quit yelling. And uh, let's open this up so you can see what we had and where we were. Uh oh, looks like he got out of position. There is some heat back here, but not back here. Oh, he was sitting right on top of that heat sink. He got up out of position. These boards here are warm. I wonder how warm they are. Let's stick this in there and see what we get. No, he's unhappy, isn't he? He's at the 50, 60, 68, 70. Let's stick this guy in there and see if we can get comparable readings. So, get the glare out of your eyes. 74, 76, 80, 81. The one on the right's a lot more responsive. I'm not sure why. So, the, therm the um, rectifiers... Are now the heaters oh yeah the transistors are cool that is amazing okay so the rectifiers are the source of the heat 
uh, they came off. I put them back on, so it's now climbing back up. So they get heat. They get hotter. They get to the 80s. So let's see what that is. Oh, I have to do this. 150. 150. Um, they get to 150 degrees. Ouch. Um, don't have any headroom for a heat sink, if you know what I mean. We gotta, you gotta stay below this line and all that. There's just no room for a heat sink. Um, hmm. The fan does, you know, you can see how the fan pulls air, could pull air across the top, pretty much. I mean, some. Uh, but the rectifiers are fairly rugged, and they pretty well hold the value. Oh, the other point I was going to make was at no time did the engine slow down or stop from something overheating on the PC board. So there was no problem with that. And uh, I thought in forward, the P2 was getting hot for some reason. Got up to 46, but that was it. That's the hottest it ever got. But maybe uh, this guy moved on us from some point. Don't know. Yeah, because look, it went from 46 to 36 and 38 and it never changed. So if it was sitting up here, it probably wasn't really in the hot. But these are not hot. It's this, you know, if I, if I sat here and monitored this, uh, it might be uh, in an interesting, scary thing. I don't know. It could be interesting scary thing any rate um i think uh i'm gonna bolt it up and put it on the rails um i'm gonna see if i can get a flat car that would allow me to um put some sensors in there and run them run the meter back to a flat car and uh, tie wrap it down and just watch it with a load and see if it increases with the load if that's interesting to you guys um, I had smoke in the beginning that started to taper off. I think I'm just low on smoke. Um, and I may service that smoke, take it off, and look at it, make sure everything's okay before I send it. I don't want uh, Leon to get cheated on this thing. Well, I wonder if that cab looks like that cab's been bent, doesn't it? kind of curls down there in that one corner. Ha! Oh, boy. Well, um, so much as toys, right? All right, well, I'm going to get it back together, um, set these up, see if I can get a flat car and run this thing and try to get an operational load temperature. And I will not be running at 100%. This thing can't. If I go 100%, it'll fly off the rails, okay? So I'll get back to you. I'll, I'll post another video. I'll button this one up for now, and you can see... It's tidy, but it works. And what you can't see, you can see a brown edge. Looks like a, a, a graham cracker down there. That's the PC board that I built. I'll get you a, a better picture when I pack this up for Leon so you can see. Cute little board. Didn't take anything at all to make. And uh, works like a charm. Uh, I changed the capacitor. I found a 6-volt 22 um, puff and... It, the fan starts instantly and stays on the whole time. And change direction stays on. No, no problem. So the fan is running beautifully. 5 volts and a 220 um, microfarad capacitor. Not too shabby. Okay, later, gang.